Howdy doody! Welcome to another video, you guys. We are going back in time to the starter cube. So the starter cube I came up with, I don't know, like seven years ago, basically. It's a cube that's turned into a starter home. I think I was inspired by Minecraft at the time and all the cube graphics. So today we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna be making a box. A tiny home box, because we now have tiny home challenges in The Sims 4. And we're going to turn it into a starter cube in 2022. Let me know in the comments down below if you were around watching this channel when I did my first starter cubes. All right, so here is our starter cube. It's 64 tiles, which does qualify as a tiny home. So we want to make sure we don't go over that. And we also want to make sure it's a starter home, which means it should be around 20,000 simoleons. 20,000 simoleons for one sim and then I think it's what 22 24,000 for two sims it goes up each time you add a sim to your family and I mean it's a cube I feel like we can go for a modern home sometimes when you're working with a shape it helps to just utilize cutouts you know to make it look a little bit more interesting um the other thing with the starter cube challenge is it's pretty much open plan actually i should probably explain what the starter cube challenge is i don't know why i assumed everyone knew what it is you start with a cube you gotta turn it into a house for a sim and you're only allowed to put the bathroom within a room. So it's open plan. Uh, and it's gotta be like around 20,000 simoleons. That's it, pretty much. I mean, the rules are simple. It's kind of like a shell challenge, but you can put your toilet in a bathroom and you're not allowed any other interior walls. Lately, I've been really into putting things on the side, like side entrance, letterbox on the side. So I'm gonna do a little pathway going to the side. Actually, you know what would be really cool to make like a whole village of little stuff? Starter cubes, that would be so cool. I wanna make a starter cube village. Let's do a half wall here. Also, how would you guys feel about us doing another dream home? I love building dream homes, like whether it's a realistic dream home, whether it's a dream home in general for like anyone watching or whether it's like really specific to my own dreams. I just love building them, but I'm like, I don't wanna do too many. Can we do too many dream homes? Is that possible? I don't think so. I like the idea of doing a platform up here, but I'm also like, I wonder if we'd have enough money to build a staircase going up to here and enough room. I feel like the staircase will take up too much room, but we could do a ladder. That would be kind of cool. I love ladders. Oh, I wonder if we will ever get a spiral staircase in The Sims 4. Like, do you think it's ever gonna happen? Surely it's possible, you know? Like, maybe they'll give it to us at the very end of The Sims 4. They'll be like, look, you guys, this is your parting gift. You probably won't use it because you'll be playing The Sims 5. But we made it. Honestly, I kind of wouldn't be mad as long as we get it at some point. <laughs> I can't get over how close we are until Christmas. It's like, it's come up so quickly. I swear every year gets quicker. Except for 2020. That, that, that was not fun. That took forever. That was a, that was a separate lifetime. Okay, this is cute. This is cute. Did we want to do, you know what? I did think this platform was kind of cool, but I'm almost thinking we should maybe do one of these and we could maybe turn it into like a skylight situation. Hey, what happened to my little ladder? Fine, we'll go, we'll go from here upwards. Okay, let's create some kind of skylight as well. So we'll go like this, then we go like this, go like this. Oh, hold on, no, 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 no. We gotta figure out this situation down here first. Okay, so one thing that I think is really ideal for tiny homes, obviously, is the Murphy bed. It was why it was put in the game for tiny home builders. Also, I feel like the tiny home stuff pack is probably one of the best stuff packs we have gotten in The Sims 4. It's so good. This is where our bed could go. We can we can do better than that though. We could probably just put it in the corner here and make this area into a nice, little bedroom this could be a bathroom because if we want to do a tiny bathroom we just need toilet shower keeping in mind i'm trying to keep the price down as well we actually don't need a basin in here we could have a basin outside that your sim uses and i mean if we want to make it look nice then i guess we have a basin um but yeah we could do something like this as the bedroom area so what I would typically do in a starter home is have like some walls to give privacy. Um, I think back in the day I used just glass windows as walls, but obviously here I want to do something a little, 
a little nicer now that we have more items. I mean, these screens are nice. It kind of looks like you could close those when you go to bed. I'm kind of loving the idea of this green door. Ooh, let's do like green and burnt orange. Those kind of earthy colors. I love those, very 70s. The other thing we could do as an entryway into the bedroom is using an archway uh, and then have like a curtain across it. That could be quite nice. Oh wait, no, that's breaking my own rules though because I said it needs to be open plan. Grr. I mean, the easiest thing that I'm really tempted to do is our usual city living panels, the vertical ones. But I almost feel like we've done that too much. Like we have to give it a rest. Like I want to get my creative juices flowing and that's not putting, that's not flowing. Oh, these are cool. This could be an interesting thing to kind of put on the exterior. Eco lifestyle. You could close all of them before you go to sleep. And like peep through the little, the little square holes. Like, hello. What about the bowling stuff? There's this item. This was, I think from spa day. Was it from spa day? I need to get mods again so I can lift this bar up. Yeah. So this is a spa day item that we could kind of place here or here if we really wanted to make it narrow and then expand this living space. It's just, it's very solid and commercial. I'm just not sure if I'm really liking it. The other option is our original idea. And it's funny because often I'll just go back to what I originally thought. I, I do it with when I am getting dressed to go out. I'll always just put on the same thing after like 10 different outfit changes. Cause th this is really soft and lovely and it does give that little bit of privacy. The thing is though, it doesn't fit very well in this area. So perhaps this is more of like a kitchen dining area and maybe we can and create the sense of a little bedroom over here. I'm pretty sure we need to have that amount of space so they can at least get in from each side. And then we would have this here. I mean, we could even go like full blown, like deep ready orange wood. Cause that that is not only modern, but it does give like a little nod to mid-century design as well, which I know a lot of you guys and myself really likes. And also it's something that we don't really do. Usually we do light wood, then we probably go dark wood. We don't really go in betweeny redwoods very often. I'm also wondering if budget is gonna mess us up a bit because that's 380. How much did I just spend on this? Oh, 25 simoleons, what? What a bargain. I'm gonna use that all the time now that I know how cheap it is. I actually think this, which costs four simoleons, it does come in this gorgeous rich red color. This, this kind of wood's coming back. It was out of style, at least in Australia for a little while. Uh, and also this one comes in that wood. Oh, that is so much. I feel like this is nicer, but this is cheaper. Well, let's go with this and know that we can do a little bit less cost if we need to. Yes, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna grab some Sims and continue this video. All right, so I've got a Sim here, Jazlyn. Jazlyn's gonna help us out. Uh, let's see if Jazlyn can pull the bed down. Now, the thing is Sims often struggle to get the Murphy bed down because sometimes they'll crush themselves, but it looks like Jazlyn's done a pretty good job. And yay, they can get into the bed. Phew, so that's really good. Uh, I assume there's gonna be no issues with this shower either. So if we just get them out of the bed, into the shower they go, yeah, all good. And I'm sure they can use a toilet because this is just like a basic bathroom. Easy. Oh no, I just realized we do not have a door going out here. Uh-oh. Okay, then in this case, we have to rethink this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over here instead. We're flipping it, you guys. Uh, and that means we can have a door that goes outside here. We will use a glass door because this is 50 simoleons. Cheapest is 40, but it's cottage. So let's go with this one. And then we can go out there. We can definitely get a cheaper front door because this is a lot for a front door. Oh, uh, we could actually just go this one. It's just that front door looks so good that I wanted to use it. Oh, we could use this one. This is only $50. Also the eco lifestyle one. Okay, you know, why are we spending that much on a front door when we can get like a cheap front door? Is that a little too much though like it this is a very complex door i just don't know i mean even this one is 95 simoleons and honestly this one's really nice let's let's go this one let's go this one okay okay all right so we've got a bed that works i've got no idea what kind of wallpaper we're going to be putting in here yet i think over here would make sense to have a little kitchen area so a kitchen i mean you can just cook with a fridge and barbecue but let's try and make this a little bit nice so 
let's get a fridge in here. The black fridge is the cheapest regular fridge, except for the, the gross one. And then counters, the used counter in black isn't as noticeable, but it's it's not cute, you guys. I would love to use this modern countertop, and I feel like we can because we don't have a lot of space to furnish. That's the beauty of a tiny home. So you can afford to spend a little bit extra. I wish this came in a in one of our like dark reddish woods. We could use this one, but this one, okay, this one's going up in price just a little bit. <gasps> this one would be really perfect because it's got that perfect orangey red look about it. I think we're just gonna have to go the grays. Now we do need a sink, a bench top. Ooh, and we need a stove. Okay, okay. We might have to rethink this a little bit because I don't think they can cook on a corner counter can they can they chop things up there i know i should know this but i really don't pay much attention to details okay i'm an aries i i it's never been good for me details have never worked what if we went like this and then we had a bench like this and then we had two bench chairs yeah still i don't like this bench chair i don't like this bench chair because it looks like plasticky to me doesn't look as realistic, so I never use it. This one is very square. It goes with our cube idea, but I just, I keep wanting to spend more. <laughs> I mean, look, let's do what we would ideally want. That's not like the second line down. Definitely not the third line down. Let's just try and do what we ideally want. Oh, wait, can our sim even get to that chair? I don't think, I don't think they can squeeze past. Oh, they totally can. Shut the front door. That is so good. Okay, and whilst I'd love to use the dream home decorator oven and stove, we can't do that because you can't place them on the same tile and the Sims be able to use them. I don't think. So we need to put in a full oven, which the nicest one is from Snowy Escape, but this is $1,200. That's a lot. Honestly, that's, that, that is a rip off. I mean, in real life, that's a very good price, but in the Sims, it's, it's, it's a rip off. Uh, the other thing is, did we want to put our sink like here? Cause I'm pretty sure the Sim can still eat that. Yeah, that's okay. That's yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. We do need a fire alarm. We need to put that in as an added cost. Would love to have this. This is 125 simoleons to make sure our sim is comfortable. This may be small, tiny living, but it is not uncomfortable living. We've got that. I really would love to have a basin in here. I just, I mean, I know there's tricks with move objects on where you like put the shower over the toilet, but I mean, it's just not very nice for the sims. Can you, can we actually just Wait, we can put it here, can't we? The sim can go to the toilet in a four by a two by two, right? Why why are you going out? Why are you playing in the rain? Okay, maybe sim can't do that. Can you use this? You're not gonna use it, are you? You can't use it. Okay, what if we go like this? Okay, so sh she can use that. Can she use the toilet with the shower there? She can use it like this and she can take a shower like this. Okay, so you can do the two by two as long as the toilet faces the shower. Why did it take me seven years to figure that out for myself? I know you guys have probably commented this at least hundreds of times. And I don't know, I just had some things you have to learn yourself, okay? And it might take you longer than the average person, but that's okay to do things in your own time. I mean, it's a little bit embarrassing, but okay. All right, so we've got the bathroom with a sink. Love that. This sink is so ugly. Like this tap is from the 1920s. So let's get a nicer sink. Let's spend big, get what we want, and we can always delete it in the end. Whew. Now, I think it would be lovely to have a light over these counters. Let's, okay, let's not get too carried away. Um, lounge room area. So the tiny living TV is absolutely perfect because you can just like put it like this and it also acts as a bookshelf. That one is 3,000 small ends, which is really breaking the bank for us. This one is $2,200 or $2,300, a little bit better, but not ideal. We probably could, cause, ooh, I mean, we, we've got a lot more space than we actually need. I can't believe I'm saying that, but we could put the TV here and the door there and you could like watch it from here. The problem is this is like a long way away from the TV. I'm almost considering moving this forwards. No, we can't do that because of this. <gasps> what if we moved this 
backwards. Oh my lord. But that's gonna mess up our roofing. Wait, no, that's okay. That's actually very okay. So we'll have more roof space. All right, but even though we've done that, we still have all this space we can use. I've made this starter cube too big. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. I think it would actually be really cute just to put like a little couch here. 180 bucks, so good. Put it there, you can watch your thing there. This is also a really cool table. You could even just pop, pop it there. And this works as a radio as well, doesn't it? It's a bookshelf, TV, and radio in one. Read listen yeah how good is that i mean it's a lot of money when you see it in the catalog but once you think about how much it does it's kind of a bargain well maybe not a bargain but it's pretty good okay night mode it really upsets me i really just like building a night mode okay so we've got our little lounge area i wonder if we could even get another little like seat in maybe even this bean bag yeah we've got a lounge room you can eat at the bench here and then we've got a really big generous space too so we can definitely get in a few other things like a wardrobe. This one's beautiful. It doesn't look very big though. Oh, this green's to die for. Oh, the blue's good. Oh, the red's amazing too. Well, we have blue chairs here. Oh God, that cost a lot. Oh, I'm a bit nervous about that. 350, this one's really 240. I don't think we have a color that works with our wood, but we could just go white. Well, that's white. Um, The other thing is a computer. Like, would it be a better use of space to have a computer right here? Probably. If we can afford it. Let's just have a little play around and see. Oh, this computer's really cool. And it's not as expensive as some of the others. Thank God these high school chairs are only $30 and look quite nice. They really are a lifesaver in starter homes because that looks pretty cool. It does frustrate me that we can't have the storage options to put these clothes in in the dresses section like i kind of understand why they did it because it won't work as a dresser until you put the clothes in it but in order to hang up the clothes you need them and no matter how many times i do this i can never find them is this just me is it just me it's in shelving it's in shelving okay how much is this fifty dollars whoa okay that's bigger than i thought it would be um you know we can probably just put it here some shoes up here as well very nice i really want to put this over here what if we go like this or that i just want it to look realistic so okay yeah, 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 that works well. This is working. I mean, that pretty much covers everything we need for a sim to live. I mean, maybe the last thing is a mirror, ideally for a starter home. I really like this mirror, actually. That would look quite nice there, too. Oh, great colorway. That's everything they need. And then, it, then it's kind of more the decorative things, the wallpaper, the plants the rooftop entertainment area. Mmm, <laughs> biscuit. Oh man, I could go a biscuit now. I'm upset Plumbella put it in the game because now whenever I see it, I, I, I do want a biscuit. <gasps> oh, we should use this rug. This is from the new, oh no, this is from the high school. Um, The high school pack. Are there any fun patterns? Oh, okay, we've got a little bit of a uh, gingham. Cool, yes. Yes. Okay, so we can do a lot without, uh-oh, I just realized this massive boo-boo because we moved the wall out. Oops. Uh, do we even want that there? Is this too open? Uh, I don't really mind it. I mean, we could put a um glass window here because that's very classic starter cube. Yeah, let's do that because that's only, what, $30, $25? That's all right. I think a barbecue would go on the rooftop because... It's just cool to have it up there. This one's from Jungle Adventure. 600 simoleons. These are expensive barbecues. Wow. Okay, let's go like that. And then it would be nice to have a little seating area upstairs, right? I mean, we could just put like a little seat to sit on. Oh, I love these chairs. Wait, how much did I just spend on this? 45 simoleons. Not too bad, not too bad. Where's the matching table for this? Hold on. Wasn't there a matching table? Am I crazy? Why can't I see the table? Oh, here it is. 500 simoleons. That is crazy talk. We may as well get this gorgeous winter scene lodge table for the same price. <gasps> that is such this is actually really nice although we can we can do better than this we can go cheaper oh and i really love the idea of this actually probably not a glass one but like this one is really cool but once you're looking at 360 you gotta get a bar stool so it's probably gonna be like more like 560 or 500 whereas you can get this for 300 so i don't know i think this is probably our better option and there's really nice 
fun patterns on here. Or you can just go plain. Like that's really cool. And it ties into our green barbecue. I feel like, would we have to place it right bang in the middle like this? We can probably just place it to the side like that. Yeah. And I would love to put some kind of shade up here, but we might be struggling a little bit. Where's my real square shady? Oh, oh, a hundred simoleons, okay. I mean, I think it's okay. I think the Sims can use this. I mean, my Sims just gonna sit wherever they fit. Can you scoot? Can you sit here? Yes, you can. It works. Yes. Nothing makes me happier than when something actually works beautifully in The Sims. Okay, and I mean, that looks pretty cool from downstairs as well. And then down here, what would, what would be useful down here? I mean, this is really space for a skill building item. And it really depends on what your Sim wants to do, who moves here. So we could leave it blank. Maybe let's just leave it blank until we put the windows and wallpaper on and then we can kind of see what, what we want. In terms of a skylight, it might even work quite well. Oh no, we don't want to do that because the bathroom's there. I'm wondering if we did like a skylight, well maybe here, so we could pop these across. Hold down shift to just move one side. So the trick with this is you, you place another roof item or object, piece, whatever you want to call it. You then swap it to glass. You then go like this, this, and you have this, um, Skylight situation. Oh, grass roof. Mm, kind of looks unrealistic, doesn't it? Let's maybe just go this roof. Ooh, or the eco roof. I mean, it doesn't cost anything. Oh, <gasps> terracotta roof. We never do terracotta. I do call it terracotta, but for some reason I like saying terracotta. <laughs> Does anyone actually call it terracotta? Okay, and then that just looks down into this lounge area. What does this look like from The Sims perspective in live mode? Does this look, oh, there is, there, there's definitely a ceiling there still. I forgot to delete the floor. So let's go ahead and go bam. And it's all gone. Tossed. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the hottest mess. Get out of night mode. I hate night mode. <laughs> all right, we need to actually build a situation here. We need to build a floor. Oh, oh yeah, that's fine. Wait, is this gonna ruin our tiny home? No, how dare you? Yeah, because that's just gonna add more tiles. Okay, so basically we can, what can we do? I mean, we can leave it like this. It's just, well, we have to then move the lights. No, I can't do this, you guys. I, I can't do this. As lovely as the skylight is, if we do want to keep the benefits of a tiny home, which do come with some cool benefits, like things are more comfortable, you use less energy, you feel good, skills increase it at double the rate. I mean, it. I think it's worth it uh, to just build a ceiling, okay? Okay, it's just, it's gonna look so much nicer. Ah, that's so much better. Also, I've been building this for one hour, you guys. Usually tiny builds are like super quick to do. This is not that quick. <laughs> it's gonna take as long as like a regular family home. All right, that's lovely. Let's get some windows in here. So. I would like to keep the windows pretty cheap just because we can. We have great inexpensive window options in The Sims 4. Many thanks to Eco Lifestyle. Also the Eco Lifestyle windows are great because yeah, they look normal from the inside, but from the outside, they make a box look much more interesting because they like stick out from it. Uh, so that's also kind of a cool idea to utilize one of these at the back of the house. And that, that looks really nice from inside too. Wait, do you think we could? Okay, I was gonna go really cheap windows, but now I'm like, I kind of want to spend more just to get the cool appearance from the outside. If we can afford it, it's worth it. I think that is actually pretty cool from the outside. And it does look really nice from the inside too. We could take some colors from the rug here, like this turquoise blue. That's definitely not it. That's not it. Uh, can we match that? I mean, it's more, it's more muted than this color. It's a bit more muted than this color too. Like that's too bright. Oh, we could go the peach. I mean, it's a lot of warm colors, quite bold. What about that? I mean, that that's pretty close. It's slightly darker than this one in the rug, but it definitely ties that in. And if we did that, oh, behind here, that looks good too. And also this greeny color kind of complements the ready warm tones in these windows as well. So that could be kind of the theme of the build. We can have a few feature walls like that. A black wall also can create space 
in a small environment, which is kind of crazy. I would never have thought that, but it does work sometimes. I probably myself would find it too overwhelming in my house because I need a lot of like lightness, but some people would really love it. Ooh, the Desert Luxe stuff is only two simoleons? What? Oh, that's cool. That, I'm kind of into this. Is it too much orange though? Would we just go the gray? I mean, the gray might be more tasteful, but do we want to be tasteful? Or do we want to live a little? Oh, the brown's a nice like midway point. Do the brown. Okay, now I don't want to do the tiles and I just want to do this brown color. Yeah, okay, we're, the tiles are tossed. Now we do this cool color. And then maybe we just do a neutral um, creamy color here, just to, you know, not do the usual white. Something a wee little bit different, eh? Also looking at these wooden bits, maybe we need like an orangey wood wall that these go onto. The more I look at it, the more I just wanna open this up. Okay, now for the exterior, um, I think cause the windows are quite interesting. Maybe the wallpaper shouldn't take away from them and rather it, the windows should kind of blend in, like doing something like this. Uh, Mr. Bowser Cornelius Cha Cha has joined us. Hope you guys don't mind if he starts snoring again. All right, let's change this foundation. Oh, wow. I did not think that that color would work so well, but it really does. This one's such a nice door. This door looks so good, but then it's like, what does it look like in here? It's pretty massive. We could put like here. And now I'm unsure about this teal color. Maybe we should be making it this blue color now. That looks pretty sick. I kind of like this now. <gasps> I'm making so many changes. I think this is more of a vibe, you guys. I just feel like this works better. It is a weird having the exterior color on the interior as well. Why don't we just go this gray? Well, that's quite nice. We still have the exterior color there and maybe in the bathroom. Yeah, I think that's really nice actually. What a surprise. <laughs> Uh, contender for the interior. Definitely wouldn't have picked it. Or oh, you could do brown. The brown's really nice, but then it's like really brown. These stairs, again, not a vibe. Let's maybe pop that in, delete that. We can go like this and go like that. And then we can pop that in there. Oh gosh, I just remembered we need both a letterbox and a bin outside. 220 simoleons for this bin. You could just put it up here. Like it kind of is nice tucked away there. Maybe put a half wall there as well. Make it super neat. That's quite good. And we need a mailbox. Let's search for that. Pop it on the side because we love a sideways letterbox these days for some reason. This is actually such a cute little starter cube. Like isn't that great? Just complimenting my own work. Let's get rid of that one. Okay, so we've got 2,000 small lines left. We could go into live edit mode and that means we can get some trees for free or we could just do like little cheap minimal landscaping. And I think in this case, maybe that's more what we might like to go with. We also have, you know, some small fences we can use. Maybe go like this, just to make it look like it fits on the block a bit more. Wait, is there a darker version of this? Oh, there is, yeah. What else can we do here that doesn't cost too much? Could maybe put a few of these down. And yeah, we've gotta be really careful with how we spend our money in this area. Um, this is one of my favorite things because I feel like this feel, fills up space really quickly. This is from Island Living and that's $50 a pop. So it's not the cheapest, but the effect of it is pretty good. And then we could just put like, ooh, what can we use? Because the, the more modern tropical looking plants are about 75. So they're not very cost effective at all but they do suit the house. Oh, this is great. This is only 35 small. Okay, that's good. And then if we just put a few rocks in, it's really all you need to landscape and make it look ever so slightly legit. <laughs> Cause really the rest of it, you just got a terrain paint. So let's do some terrain painting and then we can add our final touches on the interior. And I think this is gonna turn out to be a really lovely little starter cube. Also just gonna dot in some flowers too to make it look a little bit more more cute. I'd love to put a big hedge right here. Um, I don't know if we really have the money to do it. Oh, 135 simoleons. To get two of them, it's a little costly, but it does make it look quite nice. I think it's kind of worth it. Okay, let's check out the inside and see where we can add a little bit more excitement. You know, funnily enough, these 
two rugs work quite well together, even though they're from different packs. And you know, usually, oh wow, that was expensive, that rug. Wait, oh no, that rug was only $100. Okay, actually that's pretty good. I just got a shock at the price. Okay, I don't know if we can do this hedge. Let's at least delete one. <laughs> now, in an ideal world, where money wasn't a problem, I'd love to put curtains here. These are gonna cost us 40 simoleons. I mean, in the bedroom, it would be good to have something. Maybe we should just put that there. And then as you earn more money, you can put more <laughs> curtains up. I really wanted to get this tree and a hanging plant because I just feel like they make such a difference. I think the hanging plant's 220 simoleons. Where is it? Oh, it's actually 75. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Now, where would we put it? Would we put it here? Where is it that we're lacking a little bit of decor? Maybe just there next to the clothing shelf. Ooh, oh, there's quite good. We've got a piece of wall here. We could put something up. Oh, this is cute. This is from the clutter kit. Oh, actually, if we can afford a couple of things from the clutter kit, that would really complete the house very nicely. Cause this clutter is like $10 and this will just make the space look more lived in. $15, heck yeah. Oh, I really wanna use this, let's do it. We could put this floristry table there, which is a nice starter activity. And it takes up a lot of the space. How about we do that? Do it in a lovely green color. And that, you guys, is our gorgeous little starter cube. The perfect little house for your Sims to get started in. So let's do a tour. Don't you love it when our tours start at nighttime? Okay, we're gonna fast forward to daytime. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's love day. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so here's our little starter home, our starter cube. Oh, it's so cute and perfect, I love it. Um, so let's go in here. There actually isn't a light outside. Probably should have added that, but it can be added later. It's not a disaster. All right, so you come inside and it's a small space but it's a cute space. It's got nice color in here. Look at that little lounge area. Is that not adorable? If my friend lived here, I'd be like, wow, you have such a cool house. Love this um, little separation. It's nice for a change from the usual that we do. Oh, already going upstairs to enjoy the rooftop. A lovely study nook. They might have a job working off the computer, a little wardrobe section. And that is the gorgeous Murphy bed that can fold up, I will add. Doesn't always have to be down, it can be a couch. And then we've got a lovely little kitchen here. Now, there isn't a bin but the bin is right outside the door right there. So your Sims can work within that range. Um, have I got everything? I've got the sink, I've got the fridge, I've got the stove. That's everything, right? Right? <laughs> These windows look fantastic in there actually. Uh, then just in here, we have our little bathroom. This is how you make a bathroom work within four squares. So good, uh, good hot tip, pro tip. Took me seven years to figure out. We're just gonna never mention that ever again. Out here, little skill building area. And then it also goes up to our rooftop. Oh, and look at that. Our Sim is just loving it up here. What a nice addition to this little starter home. I don't know if I've done upstairs on a starter cube before. I don't think I have. I don't think so, um, but that's really cute as well. And uh, oh, I'm just gonna, before I upload this to the gallery, I'm just gonna ever so slightly move that in so it's not, you know what? Do we wanna upload it with plates? Yeah, let's upload it with plates. It's like when your Sim moves in, the previous person just left plates there. I wonder if that ever happens with real estate. Like people move in and there's just really bizarre things left. Oh, we can afford a couple of lights. Let's just put one there uh, and then one. I mean, there's, there is quite a bit of light up here. What about one just there? So, you know, there's a little bit of light and we have 25 simoleons left, wow. Well, I'm gonna upload this to the gallery, you guys, so you can download it if you would like to. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you would like to live in this starter cube or if you're gonna build a starter cube and what video you would like to see next. I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world and I look forward to speaking to y'all soon. Dag dag!